quote retweeting Jordan Grace's appearance on NXT in her first matchup there. She looks like an even bigger star in high definition in front of vibrant fans that actually make noise with audio production that can hear them. I have to say, Jordan Grace looked like a million bucks on there. She looks like she's been in WWE for years. Uh, her contract does expire in the first quarter of 2025. Buddy, what do you think? Should WWE scoop her up as soon as her contract is done? I don't see why not. Again, you you love this woman, right? You have a good rapport with her. She works well with you. She liked, she's well-liked backstage. Um, you have to take a swipe, at least. Will she sign? I don't know. I, but she definitely has to go after her. Why wouldn't she sign at this point? Like they, They've treated her really well. Like, what is it, three appearances? And she's going to pay six figures for it? Yep. And, like, they they've... They've let her have the TNA title, the Knockouts Championship on there. Mm -hmm. and they they've been treating her like gold. They, they, Impact in general, T, I'm sorry, TNA looks like gold on NXT. They've been doing yeah. a phenomenal job, phenomenal job. Great. This relationship, are we curious where it goes going forward? This is nothing but positive things for TNA. Which again, yeah. we talked about last week, the total opposite of their partnership with the other company. But Shawn Michaels loves her. Loves what are you? She's a phenomenal, right? She's a brick. She's a brick house. She's dominant. She's uh, everything they want in a superstar. Yeah, yeah. She's a total package. I can like, see her walking I... red carpets. I can see her being in movies. I can see her being on TV shows, talk shows. She's the whole package. Yeah, like I, I, I really think like I, I think it's a no brainer. I, I think if WWE signs another free agent, this will be the next one. Yep. And 2025, uh, the first quarter of 2025, that's around the corner. You know, that yeah. that that that's essentially right after WrestleMania. You know, that, that she can make a, a debut raw after Mania. Essentially. Basically. Or even at Mania. Yeah, first quarter, we don't know when. That, that could be anywhere between January and March. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, even at Mania. But that's the thing, though. Like, would she... I think she's main event ready. Like I, I don't think I don't think she'd be NXT really. No, this is her NXT. Yeah, she's done. Move on to the main roster. Sure, she's in the Royal Rumble. You know, it's, it's how you in introduce her. Talk about AJ about something. It's all how you about you introduce her to the main roster for the minority of people who don't know who she is or just know the name, don't know what she can do. It seems like a lot of people do know who she is. It seems, but a lot of people probably don't. Mm. I, yeah, I, I mean, I was I was surprised by the pop that she had at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, because we it seemed like as soon as her music hit, there was a large pop, a large pop at uh at the Royal Rumble there for her, uh, alluding to the fact that they knew who she was right away. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be like a minor pop, but it, she got a great reaction. She did. That's just a TNA talent. She was in the first AEW pay per view all. Where the Chicago show was. She's oh, been a well known, yeah, whatever. She's been a well known name. People do know her, but how many people in the WWE audience talk about her all the time? Watch indies or watch. Right. I, think that, I think that part, that small portion of that audience has grown bigger and bigger and bigger as the business gets bigger and bigger. I feel like Jordan Grace is kind of like the female AJ Styles, you know, in a That's sense. Like I, I feel like there, there was like a a similar nervousness about AJ Styles coming out and deb debuting the Royal Rumble, and you. We all remember that reaction. It's one of the best debuts in WWE history. Yep, sir. So, yeah, I think it's a logical next step for her. Unless for some reason she wants the easy schedule. But I, for knowing her that I don't, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, I'm assuming WWE would be the next logical choice for her. Yeah, it would have to be. I, and I, I could honestly, the sky's the limit for her, man. I I really do think she could be a big star in WWE, like women's champion, multi-time women, women's champion over there, right away main roster. Like again, red carpet treatment for her. Like I'm curious about the uh, but I'm curious about the mentality now of TNA because we talked about it several times that Scott the Moore was like, oh, what we are is some place for people to come reinvent themselves, people who are lost to find a home, and then they'll stay here for a little bit, find who they are, and then they'll move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, is that well. the same mindset? That's what that's what you said. I'm not sure that's the same mindset. Pay attention. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, yeah, that's what I'm curious. Is that the same mindset this new company has? This new regime has? I, I can't imagine that being so. 
Yeah, and they just got rid of a few more people. Yeah, a few more executives. Yeah, yeah. So I don't Fisher's know what direction like, they're going. I don't think anybody does except them. I don't think the talent knows either. No the talent. Knows. I'm talking about the executives. Yeah. They obviously have to have some sort of mindset where they're going, but especially now this whole we don't know what their regime plans are. That we don't know what their goals are. It might be the time for her to jump ship, save herself. Oh wow, save you. You think? Do you think TNA is going down then? I don't. I don't know. think so. I, I don't think so. I think there's the only way we're going to go is going up. I think it's going to be a big TV deal, bigger names, maybe live weekly TV. I think I read something they're looking for a permanent place to do weekly TV like they used to. Yes. Yes. But does Jordan Grace want to do that? When she can go main event and fight WrestleMania. I do wonder if there's going to be this this like little partnership or relationship that WWE has with TNA. I wonder if it's a tease for something bigger. Well, no. I do wonder. Like we're going to, we're going to see more of this over the summer. You know, yeah, there's June, been June some... 13th. The rumor yeah. is someone from NXT is going to answer her open challenge on their next PLE. There are a couple of hints backstage in NXT. Could be anyone, really. Yep. Again, we don't so know. That, Surprises. Uh, it's it's a great time to be a wrestling fan. Uh absolutely, man. It's gonna be fun. I I can't wait to see that. 